Hello everyone I would like to welcome Mr Shailendra Kumar who is the vice principal of marine engineering at Tolani Maritime Institute Thank you so much sir for being on our platform and taking out your time to be a part of an initiative thoughts on education So sir first of all I would like to have your introduction and please brief us about your profile Thank you Neha So uh, I'm Shailendra Shailendra Kumar I passed out uh, as a mechanical engineer from BIT Mestra 91 thereafter I joined shipping my first company was Sindhya Steam Navigation Company and thereafter I joined many companies where the last company which I said was Danacon Tankers and in various uh, ships and shipping companies I rose up to become chief engineer 2008 I joined Tolani Maritime Institute and I have been teaching here uh, 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 I have been working over here apart from teaching at various positions and presently i am looking after a marine engineering program as vice principal aneha yes sir so sir should we start with the interview yes please uh, okay so sir my first question to you is that being the vice principal of tulani maritime institute kindly tell us about your experience in the education industry and what makes it the best industry to work in okay this working in education sector is not just about you know standing chalk in hand and in front of a class of children and bestowing your knowledge into the future generation actually it is about creating an experience via various tools so that the students are uh, are actually future ready also uh, this work is uh, more interesting uh, and you know one learns more if you are in education industry uh it is more stimulating and the ability to get the uh, of getting recognized is easily you know and it improves your status also what i'm saying talking about is why one once one is there in education industry and about uh, my experiences over here it has been always uh it cannot be always good but most of them were positive and uh, right from beginning when i was initially looking uh, working as a internship coordinator where i was looking at the cadets who were returning after 6 months after completion of their 3 and 1/2 years and i was interacting with them from there then coordinating uh, one pg course which is a part of the university of strathclyde and then uh, coordinating extra first class engineer course which is you know a uh, extension of hard study in our line and thereafter uh, being over here as a vice principal everything has been either good or experience to learn so that is what i would say neha okay sir so sir my next question to you is that what are the significant challenges you faced as the vice principal of the college okay actually big or small challenges keep on coming every day in the life of a you know faculty or i can say right now as a vice principal what are our typical challenges one a cadet wants to go on leave and there is you know corona outside where uh, he is here for a long time he wants to leave but we cannot give but then there is a tussle second there are cadets who are on leave and they want to come to campus because they are bored and they 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 are fed up of online class that is another kind of challenge third parents are quite anxious they are anxious whether their wards are performing academically all right or where they are are they growing in extracurricular activities as expected what is their position of placement so and they keep on calling or they keep on communicating and of course Uh, if you uh, everybody has got their own point of view you have to it becomes challenge sometimes and sometimes it is a good experience and then there are challenges from you know uh, uh, ascertaining the right environment for training whether it is a lab whether it is a simulator whether it is ship in campus whether it is uh, the extracurricular activities infrastructure Uh, authorities different authorities which control us or under which we work like directorate general of shipping Institu- uh, indian maritime university local bodies and so on so forth 
So all these challenges keep on coming and we take it up notch in and move on. So these are typical challenges to be faced in college. Okay, sir. So, sir, my next question to you is that how do you tend to establish a, uh, establish a relation with the students being a vice principal and how do you make yourself available to them? Okay, madam. So, here we have got open door policy where a student or anybody can meet us anytime whenever, whenever they, they require. But this is not only for saying. We are available. We are, in fact, member of all the WhatsApp group because there's a way of these days how the uh, young youngsters communicate. We have got learning management system by Moodle where all the announcements are done from my side and from other of my other colleagues. And all those announcements have got thread where any cadet can respond and they respond. In the evening of class, because this is a residential campus, I go and play table tennis and mingle with the boys. Sometimes I play lawn tennis. And then I just walk around and talk to people, talk to all the cadets as a friend. And I get much more you know, uh, direct and raw feedback than what would have I got as a, an official setup. Uh, so, sir, my next question to you is that please share with us the efforts behind establishing such a successful college and how do you plan to take it to greater heights? So, Dulani uh, Maritime Institute is where, where it is right now and how to take it forward. So, in this changing scenario, as I said, only classroom teaching or some lab experience is not good enough. So, we have we had some uh, uh, rudimentary simulators till now which we are upgrading in a big way meaning to say uh, we have got of course engine and boiler simulator we have got navigation simulator we have got cargo simulators for three different kind of ships for example there is one crude oil uh, sim- uh, crude oil uh, uh, cargo simulator then we have got chemical cargo simulator we have got gaseous cargo simulators Then we have got welding simulators also. All these simulators gives more time for cadets to have, you know, the practice their skill before doing on the real scenario, real job. Plus, uh, uh, the the structure of the uh, of uh, academics of the boys is not very bound and not very you know rigid, where they have to go only you know just go attend theoretical classes. Based on interaction. Uh, they are free to develop project, uh, go to the workshop, go to the ship. We have got we have got a ship in campus where the only thing is there is no water. Otherwise, everything is there as far as engineering is concerned. They are made to move around all these places so that whenever a theory as a knowledge is said, it needs to be reinstilled eh? as a as a experience for for these students or cadets. So we are uh, right now moving in this direction only. Neha? Okay, sir. Uh, so, sir, my next question to you is that how do you create a student-centric environment in your college? Okay. The facilities which we have, whether it is classroom, labs, simulators, ship in campus, workshop, or the playgrounds of various games, or even water sports. We have got a lake over here, and swimming pool, of course, is there. Or hostel facility. Each place is centered around the principle of ASK, A-S-K. What does it stand for? A is for attitude of the students, attitude building. S is for skill imparting because it's not pure knowledge it is skill needs to be imparted so all these places are you know they are actually making them more friendly where they can imbibe the skills more easily and of course k stands for knowledge knowledge transfer which is happening uh, apart from there in the class in all these places wherever they experience either by teacher or by peers or by surrounding environment so that is how we 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 have our all eyes all eyes the center of our existence is student community neha okay sir uh, so sir my next question to you is that how do you integrate value based education with your curriculum 
Uh, I, I don't get your question. What is that? Okay, As how to integrate a uh, uh, value-based education with your curriculum? Correct. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Apart from regular uh, syllabus, which is prescribed by IMU, we always have got some value-based additional uh, things to be put in. For example, welding. and welding certification all the boys who are passing out from here they have got lloyd register shipping 2g 4g or 6g certification which certifies them and makes them stand in the market second we make them practice leadership our team building exercises right from year 1 so that it becomes handy in engine room resource management or bridge team resource management because on board ship they have to work in team and they must learn to how to work in team this is again a value addition course then there are some foreign languages spanish and one more language is there which i'm missing out right now where the students can participate and they can enhance their knowledge about that and then there is a course on hydraulics then there are you know uh, courses on hazard uh it's a short training on hazard where the students undergo and all these are value additions these are extra value addition to whatever curriculum has been prescribed by the university neha yes sir so sir my next question to you is that what would be your ideal college environment and how would you encourage that kind of culture yeah the ideal college environment should be uh the boy the cadets the boys or girls when they study theory after studying a part of theory they should experience that in lab or before that they can they, they should be simulated in the simulator then they should be experience in lab then they do, they should practice that in workshop and be confident about whatever theory they have learned is you know it really instill very hard on them and this should be in a sequential manner rather than a lot of branches would be there but unfortunately what is there a boy needs to you know not focus on one branch of study right now whenever he is there he has to study this mechanical subject where you know strength of material he has to study thermodynamics based in you know, threads then he has to study automation electrical so all because of to manage all this sometimes it is not possible that the sequencing of first theory then going to simulator then going to lab and then to workshop is not possible and we manage in a zigzag fashion so that is not a very ideal situation but if you ask then what is the ideal situation that would be the ideal situation where the student has really very good experience of learning rather than thinking is a it is a burden neha Yes, sir. So, sir, my next question to you is that how do you look at the growth of students through placement opportunities available at the college, and how do you wish to push the envelope further? Yes. So, we are uh, collaborating with new shipping companies, apart from whatever old companies are there. Plus, we are offering, we are having combined courses with lot of shipping companies where post C uh, employees. are being giving training over here so that there is a value addition for them as well as for you no know, value addition for our faculty member uh we participate in all those companies uh, various events where our boys are participating more and more aggressively plus there are some shipping companies who are organizing a common test and common exam so separately there is a wing where we were which is preparing and helping our boys also for the same purpose so this way we are uh, really trying hard to increase uh, the opportunities that can be presented to students in our campus neha yes sir so sir my next question to you is that what goals do you have in your mind for your institution for the next few years ah uh, madam apart from being a very good maritime institution we are also looking at uh, uh, other kind of collaborations which is a part of research or doing a small uh, uh, research help for various activities marine or otherwise and we are collaborating with a uh, lot of industry and government 
and all those things are in pipeline recently only it has it has started and we hope that in short in a very brief a short period of time it will start fructifying madam aniha yes sir so sir my last question to you is that being the vice principal of the institute what suggestions would you like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students yeah youth right now the present especially the people who are there for there in uh, online uh, courses and all that and the truth is the the imparting of uh, knowledge or skill or anything has been very very less and most of them are you know uh, they are not in happy phase although earlier when the lockdown had been announced they all were happy they, they don't have to attend to college but right now they are not in happy stage but if you see in very long period of time these kinds of ups and downs keeps on happening so the moment again uh, the situation improves then instead of you know engaging in so much of you know addictive online activities whether it's game or serial or whatsoever you know you, you, each and every youth they themselves has to you know uh, be disciplined enough and make a goal or uh, or uh, they, they see for themselves that they can detach with that and be attached only of briefest period of time and do some real job so that would be my message otherwise these students have you know, this present generation has got exposure to a lot of uh, knowledge and they don't like preaching so i i should be too much preachy also neha yes sir so sir it was very good to hear you thank you so much for connecting with us and for being a part of the initiative yeah i thank college dunia and neha neha to you for patiently listening out to me and giving me an opportunity to interact with you yes sir thank, thank you, you.